In this video, I'm going to demonstrate one of the ways to deal with factored debt within GarageHive. A debt factoring is when a business sells its accounts receivable to a third party. That third party partly pays the business a percentage of the total amount originally charged to the client and usually takes full responsibility for collecting the payment from the client. As this is predominantly an accountancy task, I must stress that it is important that you clarify with your own accountant before doing this as to the process that they wish you to follow. The process I'm going to demonstrate here is simply the process we see most often. So to explain where we are in this uh, example, if I go to customers, I have a payment assist customer that currently has a balance of a thousand pounds. So I'm going to demonstrate now receiving the payment from payment assist. So I'll go to take payment. I would search for payment assist. They are a thousand pounds. I'm going to say they paid by bank transfer and it applies to a document. It applies to this one. The amount received in this example is going to be £915. Uh, don't need a receipt and post. So if we go back to customers now, payment assist, there's £85 outstanding. So I'll now go to the search bar and search for sales credit memo. And don't forget, if this is a task you do regularly, you can bookmark this. So if I bookmark it with this icon on the right hand side, then it will appear for me in the header of the home page. So I'm going to open sales credit memos, create a new sales credit memo, select the customer of payment assist. Your lines may look different on your system, but that's just because I've personalized this one to only display the lines that we need for this demonstration. So we're going to put an item and it's going to be a, a payment assist commission item. So let's elaborate on that while we're here. If I show you what this item looks like. So this is an item I've created so that I can quickly reuse it. Uh, I've given it an item number that suits me. In this example, it's for payment assist commission. If I had multiple debt factoring companies, then I would likely create a item for each one just to keep audit trails neat and tidy. It's got a payment assist item category, but again, if you're using multiple companies, you perhaps just have a factored debt category code and then an individual item per company. It's a non-inventory item, meaning I can sell it uh, or credit it without uh, needing to have it in stock. And uh, I've got the general product posting group as parts and the VAT as standard so that this item affects my parts margin. Uh, in other words, I'm declaring that the discount I'm giving for using this service comes off the bottom line of my parts sales. And that's it. Quite a simple card setup. So I'm going to receive in one quantity and the balance is £85. So divide that by 1.2 to get my without VAT. 85 divided by 1.2. So that's £70.83 plus the VAT. Total being £85. If I now post this, posting and post. And go back to that customer account. So customers, payment assist, you see the balance is now zero. And it's zero because these two cancel each other out, but they are still both currently open entries. The remaining amount for both is the same. So with the credit memo highlighted, I'm going to go to process, apply entries. And with my cursor flashing in the applies to ID, I'm going to go to process, set applies to ID. That will put my username in this box. So I'm saying I'm applying this credit memo to this invoice. Process and now post application. Say OK. And that's now tied that credit memo with that invoice and closed those entries and they've disappeared from view. If I need to see them again, I open the filter. I clear the open entries are yes 
and I can see here uh, the invoice payment credit memo totaling £1,000. And that's it. If you need any help or guidance with this, please don't hesitate to contact a member of support.